Sunday, everybody, and welcome to August. We are officially over the six month mark. Um, it's the last half of the year. So how is everybody doing? What do you have on your sewing table? Are you starting to work on fall uh, projects? What are you thinking? What are you working on? Feel free to share down in the comment section below. I wanna welcome everyone to the channel today and welcome to my new subscribers and a great appreciation for those who continue to tune in from week to week. This is the Sewing Buzz. So the Sewing Buzz, I pretty much talk about um, I've added on talk just a quick talk of what I had made in the month of July, but also um, the main purpose of the sewing buzz is to talk about maybe any sewing challenges, anything that's interesting in the sewing community that I come across or and also um, release of new indie patterns. I know many of you love indie pattern releases, so I do like to bring those to the channel and share with you any of the ones that I have personally purchased or have in my collection based on what was released in that month. So we will be going over the patterns that was released in the month of July. But first, what I am wearing is now, it's a McCall's pattern, but is now this buttery pattern. I will pop up on the screen. And so yeah, that's where you can find that over um, on Butter It, well, Simplicity, and then you can find it still in the drawers out there at Joanne Fabrics during the sale. So as I just look down at my notes, um, I first want to go over kind of what I made in the month of July. So everything that I worked on, I worked on quite a bit in July. There is a few things I have not brought to the channel yet. And so those things will be coming. One of which actually you see a couple things hanging behind me. Um, the shirt is the husband's um, tropical shirt that I made for him previously. So I just brought out one just so I can line up where I put his um, snaps on here and make sure it just line up in the same place. So that's why, that, why that's hanging behind me. And you all would have just seen actually um, Simplicity 9463, it was the subscriber pick. I did a full review on that pattern. Um, and so go check that out if you missed it. And speaking of which, the subscriber pick for the month for this month of August is 9325. And so if you missed that video and the plans I have for that, I'm like really excited to um, make up a couple things. Thank you all for your comments. I am going to do a layer cake dress. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you're gonna have to go catch that video. But I am very excited for uh, September's uh, pattern and focus, the Simplicity 9325. So. The other things that I worked on were the Tammy Handmade the Mia Crop Top that was part of the um, Pattern Hackathon that was hosted by Unsocial. Um, that release was, or that video was released uh, in the month of July. So if you missed that, you can go check out the pattern hack that I did. And that was in combination, um, I hacked it with the Love Notion Sybil Skirt. So yeah, go ahead and check that out if you missed that. Um, and yeah, the other things, I'm just looking down at my notes, the other things uh, besides the Love Notions Harmony, um, you all love that. Thank you for all the good reception over on the Love Notions channel. So if you missed that, you can definitely go over to Love Notions because I did talk about how I lined a knit dress. Um, and yeah, you can go over and check that out if you so wish. But the other things, I'm looking down at my monthly makes calendar because you all know, I use my monthly makes calendar every single month and you can too, it is available on my website, So Natural Dane, but um, there's a few things I've worked on I can't quite talk about just yet. So stay tuned, all coming up on the channel soon, soon, soon. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the pattern releases. There weren't a lot for the month of, um, well, there were quite a few. Let me take that back. You all know, just full disclosure for those who are maybe tuning in for the first time, every new indie pattern that's released in the month, I don't, you know, say to, you know, bring to the channel. I bring those that I know have the, the particular indie pattern company has, um, you know, it's pretty popular, everybody like, um, or ones that I found interesting, or maybe there's a new indie company on the scene that I'm aware of, or that I did not know about, or I do know about, and I 
talk about it in this video so just so you know so yes there were there's not always but there were a lot of new pattern releases um last month in the month of july so i'm just going to give you a quick roundup there's not very many that i uh made a note of um but like i said that doesn't mean that you know there weren't more so let me start with the first pattern um actually before we jump into that sewing challenge there is a sewing challenge and i actually submitted so if you did see my video um for simplicity 9463 the belt that i made to go with that dress is reversible and if you are not following um Anne marie's workshop here on youtube and over on instagram i'll leave a handle to her youtube channel down below she is hosting her very first um sewing challenge and it is called so reversible 2023 you can follow the hashtag over on instagram and so um her video talks about you know the premise of the challenge uh you can enter other things outside of garments it can be handbags accessories like i said i did the belt and so yeah you gotta go check it out go support Anne marie if there's something maybe out there that you were thinking about making or want to make um it is Go check over on her channel, can be entered into her sewing challenge. Okay, so the first pattern I want to share with you, um, this dropped on the, did this drop July 31st or August 1st? I cannot remember, but it is the Love Notions Tinley Skirt and Skort. I did not get a chance to test for this one, but it is so cute. I love the tester versions and everything that I've seen out there. This is a very nice make. Now, the thing is, I want to highlight it's on sale still until Tuesday, which uh, I can't think of what the date is. It might be the 7th or the 8th. I'll put it on the screen, but it's $3 off right now. So if this is something that you're interested in, I say go get it. But don't forget, if you do purchase it, use my code SOULNATURALDANE3 um, to get an additional 10% off. I'll leave a link down below. I do. I am an affiliate brand ambassador for uh, Love Notions. This was one I did. I wanted to uh, uh, test this one but I couldn't with my schedule and everything that was going on but so super cute I thought um so it's the Tinley skirt and uh skort shorts pattern and it has different styles obviously you have the uh different if you want to do the shorts the the skort or just uh full on uh shorts um or full on skirt right um, and so I think that is cute because it is now say you are a person that is, um, maybe you ride bikes or even tennis. I could, I saw this in a tennis wear because you can make this in knit or woven, but can you imagine an athletic wear being able to make something like this? And if you, you know different type of sports or something that you play in um or something like that that you can wear this and i haven't looked at it close 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 but i was like huh could this be swim bottoms can you you know can you play with it enough to get something like that out of it and so but i did grab the pattern so um as a brand ambassador i do have access to this one and so i did grab it but i think this is so cute um it does have a flat front waistband with an elastic back it also has pockets so if you did decide to obviously if you decide to do this as a um say a swim squirt um you don't need pockets <laughs> And Love Notion sizing is very size inclusive. This one goes up to a 5X. Um, as with all their uh, blocks over the past couple years have been increased. So I thought this was super cute. So if you want to grab this and you only have a couple days from the day you're seeing this, just still grab it with that $3 discount. Um, and then it goes back to regular price of $12.50. But either way, you can still use my code. So Natural Dane 3 to get an additional 10% off the next is a swimsuit pattern this is by edgewater patterns this is called the frankie one piece now i thought this was cute simply because of the little tie detail in the front and um i don't know it's always the summertime you you see different swimsuit patterns and i have not worked on a swimsuit in a good long while um I think the last one I did was last year the one I did in collaboration with Sharia I haven't worked on one since um but 
anyway i thought this swimsuit was so cute it's basic with a square neckline um you either uh you have the high hips option um and it does come with the standard bust and the double d plus option um, which has a dart in it so the larger bust size do have a dart in it um and there are different um coverage options so they call it cheeky or full coverage i would opt more for the full coverage option um but so super cute you can make it a uh, one piece with waist ties um or don't add the waist ties at all but yes and of course every pattern that i talk about will be linked down in the description box now the next pattern is the uh flora tank and dress by pattern scout patterns now this i thought was super cute um i'm thinking the 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 detail, even though it's listed as beginner friendly, you do have a couple details I thought in this dress that were quite unique. You have the pin tucks across the top. Plus you have inseam pockets and the sizing is really good. It does go up uh, to a D cup option. Again, the link will be down below, but I do like the way it looks. And definitely it was marketed as a beautiful summery dress. And I totally agree. Next is itch to stitch patterns. Once again, I was too busy during this time of testing to test these new patterns, both of these patterns, but you have the Acaria pants. Um, these I did go out and purchase myself once I saw them released I was like yeah because I like Kenneth um, her block I do like her instructions and everything and these look so super simple this is made for woven they're um, pull on elastic waist jeans and they're meant to sit at your natural waist and um, there are two length options as you can tell by the photo and you have the slant pockets on the front wide legs relaxed fit and definitely perfect for woven so i can definitely see a ring on challie in this uh linen uh, a lightweight dim denim like a chambray, a chambray something like that definitely nice i thought this was really really nice the next one i did not get a chance to test but i do like the tester versions of it is the nasara shirt um and this one as usual with uh kenneth's um pattern she does have full cup options so um you do have your standard collar with the collar stand it's a dome and sleeve so which is nice because you don't have to then worry about setting in sleeves and so and then you still have the front the front uh button band and then your back yoke has a uh, back pleats and it has a high low shirt hem shirt tail hem and so this is looks to be from what i can tell from the tester photos um and feedback i've seen so far a very easy sew not anything terribly complicated if you are new to showing sewing a say button up or something like that Kenneth's instructions are always really really good um definitely hand hand holds you through the process and yeah with that make sure you follow the instructions because you all know for me i tend to struggle with collar stands but um i forgot to mention in 9463 i did much better and i was following along <laughs> with that so long but definitely if this is something that you are looking to uh get definitely pick it up i will have the links down below next is the friday pattern company bernadette skirt i thought this was so cute another very size inclusive company seems to be a very beginner friendly type skirt you do have the the little uh pocket on the front that you can add um the little belt on the front that you can add and their sizing is really good they go up to up to a 7x which for my nose is a hip of a size 63 and so yeah so when you go i believe when you go out to the uh um the website for this one there might be two different options to purchase which size range you uh fit in if if i'm not correct you'll see that on the website but very size inclusive and this was a simple and nice skirt that they released so those who are into skirts you'll like that and you'll probably also like style arcs the miranda skirt now i thought this was so cute i thought the marketing for this one was so cute um because in the uh email there was 
um, it said just like that the Miranda skirt so for those who are in the US or I'm sure there's people abroad that watch sex in the city just like that I do super fan uh, but uh, I, I was like okay yes I can see Miranda from sex in the city wearing this but also I can see all of the ladies <laughs> is wearing this so I thought the marketing for this was timed so well but it, it's so super easy so super simple it's a gathered skirt mid laugh uh mid calf length elastic waist uh the skirt is lined um it's made for lightweight knits or woven such as bridal tool it says chiffon silk wall um the lining can be knit or woven fabric so yeah, you could probably do the tree coat as a lining um, like I did for the um, Harmony blouse with Love Notions. If you are looking for a, a knit lining, tree coat. Yeah, and I got that from um, So Much Fabric. And so, yeah, I'll try to remember to link tree coat knit uh, fabric down below, but it comes in a ton of colors. And if you were thinking about doing something like this, Miranda skirt, that would be perfect next is the just patterns iman skirt um this one i thought also pretty simple another one that for sure can transition into fall it has three different versions line unlined um and a denim version um it has i'm not quite sure what italian pockets are i'll have to look that up um, but i just saw uh, side slant pockets in the front uh, maybe they're uh, attached differently uh, but it does have a front fly uh, with belt loops so if you're doing I can totally see if you're doing denim or a twill um, in uh, this particular skirt that how that feature would um, go very well um, again very size inclusive they go up to a 59 inch in hip 50 actually 59.8 so almost 60 inches um, in hip. So I thought this was super cute and thought I would bring that one to you, especially for those who um, like just patterns and you wanna try something like this. Um, next, big shout out and congratulations to The Handmade Minio. If you all follow her over on Instagram, you already know that she is a designer for Nomi Patterns, but she released her first indie pattern, the Suncatcher dress. Now, me personally, this is not my style, but I know many of you probably would love something like this. I thought it was a cute, dainty type dress and just want to just support and shout her out as a new indie pattern designer. I'm sure she got more things she's working on, but this dress is so super pretty. You got a late summer, maybe wedding you're going to or vacation um, you, you're going on. This might be the dress for you. It features a, a beautiful V-shaped open back, an angle bust detail, flowing gathered skirt in mini or midi length. Again, in the picture she posted, so super pretty, so super pretty. So again, congratulations Ella on your new pattern release. Next is the So Over It, the Emily top. Now this one, again, super simple. I think very basic. For those who absolutely love sew over patterns, this can go into your um, stash relatively easy. Um, you all know sew over patterns, their instructions are really simple, but I thought this was a cute cami. They have different lengths of the cami. I like the little flutter detail that you can also add around the cami. And so yeah, this was so cute. I had to pop it in, very basic and simple, but again, Depending on the indie pattern company you're into, you're like excited to see something like this come out from Sew so Over It Patterns. So there you have it, the Sew so Over It Patterns, the Emily top. And coming in is the True Bias Aster top and dress available in two sizes. So if you go out to their website, you will see the pattern listed in two different size range. And so make sure that you uh, pick the, uh, the correct size. But this is a beautiful, beautiful look to be simple. I would say look like an intermediate beginner pattern and only because with the buttons um, down the back and you do have French darts but this is such a beautiful dress and you have the option to fully line it so I thought this was a really nice release for those who are looking for something like this you all know I love a good uh, neck 
square neckline. So this is a beautiful pattern. Again, I will leave a link down in the description box below. And last but not least is Tammy Handmade. She released also a tank. And this tank is made for knit. Um, looks to be very, looks to be very super easy um, make. I will say her Mia crop top, if you saw my video and everything, go back and watch if you haven't but I found her instructions um, not overly detailed, but simple enough. And that was just for the crop top. The crop top was really easy. And by the looks of the tank, um, of, the, of this particular tank, um, I think it will be easy too, the Tyra tank. And so um, it's classic sleeveless top that features a subtle V-neck. For me, tanks, you guys, have to have a subtle v or small scoop i'm can't do the tanks that raise higher up to <laughs> near the neckline those are the this style of tank is more me and um is made for lightweight knits such as your viscose jersey cotton jersey lightweight knit wool blends as well so that is the roundup of the patterns indie patterns released in the month of july have you picked up any of them are there any ones that you might be interested in you're going to check out a little bit more remember i will leave a link down in the description box below to links to all of the patterns that i mentioned and coming up on Wednesday, I switched things around. Initially, I was going to share this hack that I was working on. I'll share that next Sunday. But, oh, finally, 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 you'll see that haul coming up on Wednesday. So that is it, everybody. If you have any questions, any, any questions, definitely leave them down in the comment section below. I will get to them as soon as possible. But you all have a blessed start to your month. Have a blessed start to your week. And we will see you on Wednesday. Bye.